really really intense chorro pregnancy cramps like bad where you can't even control them like you don't even want to push just in case it is chorro and you don't even want to push because you don't want the baby to come out hey beautifuls welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is alexis jada and welcome this is gonna be my 9 through 10 update pregnancy update so i want to know do you guys want, do you want an update every week or how i'm doing it now where it's like two weeks and stuff i don't know not a lot happens within the week i feel like maybe two weeks it's like oh okay you know there's there's more more cheese me more good stuff okay so i posted a picture on instagram and i asked you guys to ask me some questions i'm out of breath all the freaking time it's because the baby needs oxygen <sighs> So it just takes a toll. So I posted a picture and it's 10 weeks, two days. And I did lose a few pounds because I was really, really sick. You guys already know I was vomiting a lot, throwing up. It was just, but it's, get, it's gotten a lot better. First one, are you going to do a gender reveal? Yes. Okay. That is going to be so freaking amazing. So I will be recording the gender reveal. That's going to be so exciting. I have a couple of ideas that I want to do. But if you guys have any at all, like any cool ideas for a gender reveal, please leave them down below or tag me in videos on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. I would love to get some ideas. Second question, is this going to be your six? No, this is going to be baby number five. A lot of people don't know, but Noah, he's my little brother and we've been raising him, me and Rudy, since he was six months old. So this will be baby number five in my panza, but technically baby number six. What are some names you like, boy or girl? I don't really know yet. I'm kind of going back and forth with a few. I don't have any where I'm like, ooh, that one I'm in love with. There was a few, but I don't really want to say the names because I don't want like to offend anybody or anything. But there was a couple of names that I liked, but I can't go with them because either that person did something really, oh, uh, or you know somebody that has that name where you're just like, mm, or you know, that kind of thing. So. I'm still going back and forth again if you guys have any ideas if you guys have any ideas if you guys have any cute names or anything for boy or girl please help your girl out next one how accurate is your ultrasounds dd do you think it's a few weeks off or pretty spot on the doctor said it was pretty spot on for my due date when i told him and stuff like this is how far along i am da -da 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 -da, he was just like you know what <laughs> it's pretty freaking accurate because before i had a app that would track my period so i'm I was like, hey, it's this date. This is the last date of my menstrual cycle. And he was just like, yeah, that's pretty spot on. He did the measurements and everything. Baby shower plans, yes. And I think it's going to be so fun because my babies are big. So they're going to be involved a lot. It's just going to be so fun. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait for the gender reveal. Baby shower. I'm, I'm just so excited for it all. How do you not have any stretch marks? Okay, so I don't know if it's a myth or anything, but since I've been pregnant with my very first baby, my mom told me never to scratch because your body's stretching and if you scratch, you're going to rip your skin. So I learned this the hard way because when I was pregnant with Andrew, my chest, my chichis, my boobs were really, really itchy and I just remember going like that because they were just oh they were just so itchy and a couple days passed by and it was white and my mom was like you know scolding me telling me like why did you do it i told you not to do it i told you you know, you know she was like upset because my mom has stretch marks and my mom was just like oh she didn't want me to have them or anything so when i seen how my chest got i was like oh like every time my front side would you know start to itch i would just rub it i would just rub it i'd grab some lotion rub it or I would just grab something that was really cold and just rub it on my panza just to get that kind of like itchiness like ugh, off and it worked. So yeah, never did I itch my panza and I didn't get any stretch marks, <laughs> knock on wood, but yeah. So uh, I don't know if it's a myth or anything or if it's, you know, jeans or whatever, but I put it in my head. It's because I scratched, you know, and just how it worked out, like me doing this, and then a couple of days, it's just like, ugh, I have stretch marks on my chest and stuff. I was like, okay, don't scratch your pensa. And I never have. Well, not not that I ever, but when I was pregnant, I always made sure to rub my pensa instead of scratch. What do you use to help prevent stretch marks? I use cocoa butter, and recently, I've been using the pistachio skincare. You guys know I'm obsessed with this stuff. Oh, it smells so good. 
So I'll show you guys a little clip of it, me applying it on my pantsa and stuff. This really helps and it just gets your pantsa like all oiled up so it's easier when you're stretching and stuff because I keep getting bloated and I know that's normal during pregnancy but I feel like I get so bloated where it's like damn you would think I was like farther along then it goes back down and then the next day I get bloated again like it just really sucks so I make sure that every time after a shower I apply my pistachio butter butter um so yeah I make sure that all of with that how did your kids react to them when you told them about the new baby they're very happy, very excited because they actually get to see like my bunsa grow and just see everything. The way Andrew was explaining it to me is that he gets to see the baby grow very, very tiny and get bigger and stuff. And he gets to like, oh, I feel like a really big brother because when I've had my other babies, of course, Andrew has been little too. You know, like when you're little, you forget. And I'm pretty sure he's going to forget a lot still because he's only 10, well, nine, but you know what I mean? He's going to be able to enjoy it more as a big brother because he's going to see the baby. Little, little, little. I remember your update when you said you had to go in and thought you were miscarrying. How does it feel now that everything is okay? I feel so much better. I feel relieved. I feel like once I hit my 12-week mark and the doctor gives me like the A-okay completely and he's like, okay, you can start working out now because I can't work out or anything right now. have to just do like, you know, just normal stuff, no heavy lifting, nothing like that until I hit my 12 week mark and then I can start working out again. Once I think he gives me that approval of like, I can work out, I can like lift weights and stuff. Well, whatever he says I can, then I feel like I'll be like, okay, I'm good. You know what I mean? So right now I feel amazing. But I know once he tells me like everything's, you can start working out, I'm gonna feel even better. When are you due? I'm due October 23rd. Do you plan on having more later in the future? No, I feel like this is going to be my last baby for sure for sure because <laughs> yeah for sure did your nausea go away on its own what helps my nausea my nausea it sounds so weird saying that is that how you say it? my nausea nausea oh the reason why i don't have any makeup on is because after this i'm going to be filming a tutorial but my nausea was really really bad like i was telling you guys i was like hugging the toilet, going to like second base with the toilet. It was really bad. I was peeing myself and throwing up. It was disgusting. But it did get a little bit better as time went on. So the two teas that helped the most is the lemon ginger and this is the pink stork tea, morning sickness tea. It relieves nausea and vomiting, improves hydration, delicious, hot or cold. I'd say pick one over the other. I'd say go with this one because it just tastes so much better. This one's still good. A lot of you helped me out and told me on Snapchat, hey, this one helped me so much. So Rudy went out, he went to Walmart, he got it, it was amazing, loved it. I did some more research, went on YouTube, and a lot of moms were talking about this one right here. Went on Amazon, oh, and it's been so good. And what I think is so cute about these is the tea bags. It's just so freaking cute, mira. Look, 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 it's so freaking cute. Like, look how cute they look. It's just so, freaking cute oh they smell so good so the lady who made this she made it because she had horrible morning sickness and this helped her with her fourth and fifth pregnancy so when i seen that i was like okay sold 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 because again i've heard a myth that every kid you get it gets harder and harder and harder and it just takes a toll on your body you know i spit takes a toll on your body and your nausea just gets worse and worse and worse and i've talked to a lot of mommies who are on the fourth and fifth and they're just like yeah girl it's it's horrible. I hate it. It's horrible. And I'm just like, okay. Same. I don't have nausea that much when I'm drinking the tea or these as well. I can't find my other one. This one is Queasy Drops. These one weren't even all that. I didn't like them. The ginger was ugh. Papaya was eh. The cola was pretty alright. It just felt like eh. The sour raspberry was really good and the banana was ugh amazing but i didn't like these ones there's other ones that it what, what is it called the original prego pops those ones kicked butt i finished those ones first and then i attacked these but yeah if you're debating on whether to get these ones because they're a little bit like they're a little bit cheaper like a dollar or two don't even don't even waste your money just take with the other ones because the other ones are a lot better in my opinion they're just a lot better the flavor's better it lasts longer these ones are just like if anything you're just not thinking of throwing up because you're just like oh what is this 
the other ones are a lot better. I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think that I think that was all the bitching I had. Instead of nausea, I'll have nausea, but I am I have these really, really bad headaches right here, right there on my forehead. Those I have all day long. And I hear that's really nor that's that's very normal. And then it gets better as you know. You get farther and farther in the pregnancy. I just have like a really bad headache. Like, you know where you go a lot and you have a stuffy nose and your forehead just gets kind of like, because everything's just connected right there. That's how I feel. But other than that, I feel great. <laughs> Did the bleeding stop? Yes, the bleeding has stopped. So that is another reason why I'm like, yes. All excited because no more bleeding. Baby names, please. A lot of you are saying baby names, but I really don't have any where I'm like, okay, that's the one. Rudy did say that if we did have a girl, a cute name for the baby would be Jade. And I thought that was adorable. I was like, because oh. Angelica's middle name is Jada. So they would have something, you know, like Jade and Jada. So cute, even hearing it now. But my brothers call me Jade all the time, especially when they're freaking whining or there's something going on or they're fighting and they're bitching with each other or Eileen's over and Eileen has some cheese mix. It's always Jade. Jade! Jade! It's always bad. My poor baby, she's gonna be like, what the hell? <sighs> so. I don't know. If anything, if we do pick Jade, then have to have a family discussion. Like, hey, no more, no more, no more. Lex, Alexis, but my brothers have always called me Jada, Jade, Lex. My brothers call me Jade. Something's wrong. It's never good. It's always something. But yeah, that's the only thing. Kind of rambled there. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna say, boy. I know you're not showing a lot yet, but that's my guess. You guys let me know. Do you guys think I'm having a girl or do you think I'm having a boy? Because a lot are saying when you crave spicy, it's a boy. When you crave sweet, it's a girl. And I'm craving both. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I still feel like I'm having a girl. And if I'm having a boy, it's okay. But I just feel, my lady balls, that it's a girl. <laughs> I really am. Maybe more Chiho, not that you're prego. Yes. Giovanni and Noah especially. <sighs> going at it and I'm just like you guys it could be about nothing they could just be chilling next to each other and then just looking at each other and don't look at me don't talk to me and just copying each other like just both of them just on it and I'm just like Oof. to the point where like I want to cry because they're just fighting over nothing where I have to separate them but yes yes just to yes just how do you feel? Are you excited to be almost at your second trimester? Yes, I'm so excited. I'm very, very excited. There's an app I have. I will leave it here. And here's the other app that I use. And I check those every single day because it gives you updates on the baby, like how what the baby is developing that day, how big the baby's hand is supposed to be at that stage, feet, and just some really cool fun facts. And I'm just like, holy crap, like that's crazy. Around 10 weeks and I think five days, the baby is the baby has like testosterone and everything if it's a boy and if it's a girl the ovaries and stuff like the girl parts that it needs like it was just crazy and that's why they can do the blood work to determine if you're having a girl or a boy but there's some people who believe in the blood work and there's some people who don't because some people were like I said I was having a girl end up having a boy and I hear that happens a lot with girls you know it showing that oh you're having a girl and then later on it's a boy I hear that but I don't know I'm just excited I'm just excited but I do have those two apps and I check those non-stop because every single day has really cool things and I'm just like oh. so if you guys are expecting those two apps my favorites they say the more pregnancies you have the harder each one <laughs> each of them are yes do you think that's true <laughs> yes or have you been feeling with each of your pregnancies I feel like each pregnancy is different but I definitely agree each one has been Harder. I feel like Andrew, I've always said it, easy, easy, easy. If I felt nauseated, go, throw up, come back, eat, boom, amazing. Kind of the same. And then Elijah, I was like, oh, I feel like death. Giovanni, same, I feel like death. And then this baby, I'm like, ugh. I f Definitely, this one has been the worst, worst morning sickness ever. And my mom says it's because I've never had a girl with Rudy, so that's why. And I'm just like, okay. It's been, oh. morning sickness has been horrible. Like I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Like the whole time I was like throwing up, it reminded me when I would get super, super drunk, too many tequila shots, and where you're just over the toilet and you're like praying and praying to baby Jesus, like please I'll never do this again, kind of thing. Like that's the kind of, oh, 
but I'm so glad I'm over it because oh it was horrible it was horrible what type of workouts do you do at the gym and what have you been craving the most I haven't done any workouts because the doctor has not approved me to work out so for the comments that I have been receiving like on snapchat and everything like oh you lost your motivation I can't believe just because you're pregnant now you're gonna be lazy like no 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 because I can't <laughs> so I have to wait and I don't want to risk it I don't so I just have to wait to get the approval and then I'll get back in there back in there and just start working out and oh I want to be like mm, I want to be toned so when I'm pushing that baby out my makeup just don't look good <laughs> everything looks good you know what I mean my thighs my legs my calves mm, all of it so yeah the cravings I've been craving pizza and watermelon those top two have been my top cravings like if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys seen Babe always gets me watermelon and pizza. Oh, and I can't stop thinking about the California pizza. That one, oh, it's so delicious. I'm having my two one, and it hurts so bad every time he kicks or moves. Any tips that um, could help? Any tips on what would help? I know when I was pregnant with Andrew, he kicked me the most because I was really, really skinny, and so I was all panza, all baby. And what helped me was I wouldn't drink any like sugary drinks because I feel like when I was drinking like orange juice and stuff, he would really, really be active and kick a lot. But I would just kind of like rub the spot where like his elbow or his knee was. Oh, it hurts so much. It hurts so much. And I would just rub that spot. Just rub it, just rub my pants. I just rub it a lot and stuff. And just kind of like calm him down by just rubbing my pants a lot and just talking to him because it did hurt. Those kicks hurt are you planning natural birth or c-section if you had a c-section how and if you had a c-section how would you feel about it i i think i'm just planning just natural birth but if i had to have a c-section i think the person that i would call would be my cousin rudy's cousin it sounds so weird calling her my cousin but she really is my cousin because we talk all the time because she's been through it and i feel like i would be really really scared because you guys know i'm scared of being like put to sleep and stuff i know i don't i won't be put to sleep but just, just that whole like operating table thing, I think I would be scared. But I think talking to her would kind of like help and she would like prepare me and stuff. I think I'd be okay with it. Well, it's really, you ain't got no choice kind of thing. Like it's not your, no one gives you the choice. Like, hey, you want this or you want that. But I think if it would happen, it, if it happened, hey, it would happen. I'd just call her, talk to her, you know, like, hey. And I just know my baby will be by my side. So I know everything will be okay. But yeah for the mamas who have to have gone through that hearing my cousin talk about it it was just like i'm such a crybaby it makes me so sad because i know it's very very well i don't know but from what i hear it's very very painful oh my tattoo is my husband's name on the side of my my panza. I always stretch that baby out every time I'm pregnant. <laughs> hey beautiful, I have two questions for you. Do you get contractions like cramps? Do you think a lot of relationship problems and stress and emotional abuse can be have bad consequences? Let me know. Okay, so when I had my contractions, it did feel like period cramps. Like really, really intense chorro pregnancy cramps. Like bad where you can't even control them like you don't even want to push just in case it is chorro and you don't even want to push because you don't want the baby to come out it's just so painful very very painful to the point where like you don't even want to talk like oh or you don't want to hear anybody talk because anyone had been in that kind of pain where it's like please don't talk please don't talk like sh shut up please because it just hurts so much so those are the kind of, those are the kind of contractions i get when i was about to give birth let me know if it was different for you i do I do think baby does feel everything so just be happy i know it can't always be rainbows and candy canes and candy canes and unicorns all that so just kind of just be happy if you can fix the problem fix it if you can't life's too short and you know be happy so those are all the questions that i will be answering i feel like this video is going to be super duper long but that's okay because it's been a minute so you guys let me know down below if i should do weekly updates or this two week update if that's okay oh about tea a few people were telling me about tea that it's not it's not good to take in pregnancy because it can cause a miscarriage um everything that i take i make sure that i run by my doctor just in case and he said that i was good to take the teas both of these teas so before you take anything or consider anything, make sure you talk to your doctor. And 
see if it's okay for you to take because everyone is different nobody is the same so yeah before you guys take anything definitely run it by your OBGYN first so yeah I think that's everything I hope you guys enjoyed this pregnancy update and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell down below so you're notified every time I post and I'll see you guys in my next video <laughs>